The Canadian Bush Plain Heritage Centre has been transformed into a forest of holiday creativity with the Lung Association's annual Festival of Trees. Elise is with the Lung Association. Elise, why does an event like this Festival of Trees, why does it mean so much to the Lung Association? Uh, I think an event like this is so important uh, for the Lung Association because we, uh, this is our title fundraiser. We have over a thousand people come through over the weekend. It's, we raise a lot of money for our local community. Uh, it stays here, so that's wonderful. Yeah. What were your goals this year as far as getting a, the number of trees in, and how did you exceed those goals? Um, so this year our goal was 50 trees. Uh, we've exceeded that. We are in a larger venue at the Canadian Bush Plain uh, Heritage Centre. So we thought, why not build a forest? And uh, we have over 65 trees. I think there's maybe closer to 70. And uh, we hope to build it next year and just keep going up from there. And how does this money stay right in our community and help people locally? Uh, so the money stays here. It helps to fund uh, lung health research with uh, COPD, uh, tobacco, no smoking programs, uh, lung cancer, anything lung pulmonary related, it, it will stay and it will help. For groups or businesses that haven't gone in it before, what do they have to do and why would you recommend for them to get involved? Uh, what they have to do is call the Lung Association, uh, chat with us, we'll meet with you and we'll talk about what you would like to do. I mean, you can do a whole scene. Some people have fireplaces attached to their Christmas trees here today. They have prizes. They have, you know, it's just, it's a whole display. So basically just give us a call. We'll sit down, we'll chat. Uh, and that's it, basically. <laughs> Elise, this is a really nice kickoff to the holiday season. What trends have you seen in holiday decorations this year? A lot of uh, rustic looks going on, and it fits well with the Bush Plain Museum. Um, a lot of burlap, just a lot of, and, and also like going back to more traditional um, settings and, and ideas as well. Can you describe the tree that's made out of wood? Uh, yeah, that was a uh, Winmar's tree. So. They've cut pieces, I mean, I'm not a carpenter, but they've cut pieces of wood and stacked it together and created something very different and very uh, interesting looking and colored. Blue, 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 so it's gorgeous. I've noticed you have two uh, trees of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. How's that classic panning out? We do. Um, so it's a little bit of a twist on the Grinch this year. Uh, he's kind of sticking out of the tree and, you know, having a really good time. And, uh, you kind of have to look for him. We also, uh, the library did one as well as the Sioux Community Career Center and we're, we're very happy that they did something sort of silly this year for us to see. It seems like people either go with the white lights or the colored lights or a green tree or a white tree. Do you have any favorites? Uh, I definitely have some favorites here this year. I really like the frostbitten uh, tree that was done by Paint and Decor uh, Concepts. It's just, it's different. It's, it's an art piece in itself so I, I like something a little different going on. Um, I also like some of the smaller trees that you know you can just put in your house for little fillers. Uh, Festival of Beer did a really wonderful tree that you know if the beer lover in you really wants something like that you can get that as well. Yeah. Getting involved in your community especially in these charitable organization fundraisers means so much especially at this time of year. For Go Sault Ste. Marie I'm Ann Gordon -Aire.